Mario. Please come to the castle. I have baked a cake for you. Yours truly, Princess Toadstool. Peach. What is up, YouTube? Pink Reaper here. Ah, uh, oh, screwed it up. I've only managed to ever do that once, like ever. So, it's not surprising I screwed that up. Pink Reaper here with another, uh, another, oops, nice, new series. Oh, I gotta do something real quick. Um, which I'm going to be referring to as Shotgun Let's Plays. Uh, with the first one here, Super Mario 64. Um, now to get, oops, too high. To give you an idea of what this is and why I'm doing it, um, I had this idea the other day, uh, where Jenny's, oops, Jenny's Let's Play of, wow, was it going really poorly? <laughs> Jenny's Let's Play of Paper Mario, Six, Paper Mario 64. Uh, Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door. That's another one I'm not actually good at. Um, it's taken a really long time. Like a really long time. So I had this idea where I was like, wouldn't it be funny if while Jenny is doing that playthrough, I did a bunch of other playthroughs of a bunch of other different games, just to see how many games I could beat before Jenny can manage to beat um, Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. Um, so I came up with this idea of what I'm doing right now, Shotgun Let's Plays, where... Um, oh, wait. I just entered the wrong one, shit. Um... What star can I do while I'm doing this? I don't think I can get to... I don't think I can get to the star I need to get to. Um, or, not that I need to get to, but the only star I can actually do. Because King of Bomb won't be here if I go to the top. Um, but yeah. So, basically the idea is... I was like, why don't I just play through a bunch of games? Games that I wouldn't normally let's play otherwise, like, um, I love this game, but I wouldn't, like, it's not a game I would consider let's play normally because, uh, one, it's just, there's a ton of people who've done them. Two, I'm not super good at this game. Oh, he's here. I didn't think he'd be here. Um... And three, it actually does take a long time- oh, hello. It actually does take a very long time to beat this game and to do 100%, and there's a lot of stars I really don't like doing in this this game. But what if I just, you know, played it really fast without really explaining anything that I'm doing? Um. Oh my god. It has been a very long time since I've played this game. Um. Without really explaining anything I'm doing, and just getting to the end as quickly as possible. No, don't grab me. Don't grab me, Bob. Um. So that's what this is going to be. This is not going to be like a, an informative let's play. This is not going to be a 100% uh, completion let's play. It is going to be a let's just beat the game really quickly. Or at least as quickly as I'm able to do let's play. And when I'm done with that, I'm going to just immediately grab another game and start doing that one after it. Um, parts are going to be about 30 minutes long, because that's about how long each part of, um, Thousand Year Door has been. Um, and once I reach the credits, I'm done. It doesn't matter if there's, there should, in theory, be stuff after that. Um, please talk to me. Um, 
It doesn't matter if there's things I haven't done. And once I've reached the credits, I'm done. Uh, and I will move on to the next game. You might see some games I've already Let's Played before. Um, like, I kind of want to do the Mega Man X games again, because I really like Mega Man X. Um, you might see, you know... Yeah, you'll definitely see Kirby Superstar, because I love Kirby Superstar. Um, damn it. Chomp. Why you gotta be like that? Um... But you'll also definitely see new stuff like this. Um, obviously, I haven't done... I haven't done Super Mario 64. I haven't actually done any of the 3D Mario games, with the exception of uh, Mario 3D World with Didi, which I don't even really count. Well, I kind of count. That game's so weird. Oh, wait, is it this side? It's that side. Um... It's like, that game's weird in that it's like a, um, it's like a 2D Mario game turned into a 3D game. But yeah. Um, there's quite a few games too I like, I'm considering for this because there's quite a few games that, uh, I didn't want to let's play for various reasons, not the least of which were because I felt like it would take a long time to do. Um... And, and or I don't enjoy fully completing those games, like doing the 100% stuff. Um, those are games like uh, Legend of Zelda games that are super long, and obviously if you're going to do 100%, it's just so much. Um, yeah, I got it. I can open the door if I want to. Um, a game like this... Um, Super Mario 64. Um, what else is there? Um, I don't know. I'm having a hard time thinking and playing at the same time. Mostly because I'm bad at this game. Uh, and I'm sure there's people who are thinking like, but Pink Reaper, this isn't fair. Um, oops, overshot that by a bit. <laughs> um, Jenny's game is super long in an RPG. And you're picking a bunch of super short games that, like, you could definitely beat really quickly, really easily. Like, how is that fair? And the answer is, it's not, and I don't care. <laughs> um, like, I don't really need to care, because this is mostly just a joke. Like, this is a joke playthrough, kind of. Um, I don't actually think this is fair, that I can pick a bunch of really short games and beat Jenny when she can't. Um... But I'm doing it anyways. Because, again, it just gives me something new to do. It gives me something to record. I didn't want to start a full playthrough of, like, anything while uh, Thousand Year Door was going on. But I did want to go back and play some old games that I really like playing. Um, so that's how we got here. I'm going to try this once. See if I can do this. Oh, I screwed up. Okay. And I'm just gonna go take the normal slide. Take a really long time to do this. Whoops. Oh, I screwed that up too. Uh, and I still got the star. Go me. Um, but yeah. So this is just... You know, this is just sort of a for, a for me, for fun kind of thing. Whoops. Um, so yeah, that is the introduction to what Shotgun Let's Plays will be. Uh, moving on from there, uh, today is Monday. Um, probably the day before this video is going to be uploaded. Someone's making a ton of noise outside, you might even be able to hear it. Um... I, uh, this is a week after I got back from Vegas, um, for Evo. Oh, I fucked that up. Um, I came back Monday of last week, even though Evo obviously ended on Sunday. Um, 
I came back really early on the Monday. It's also been a week since I had a day off, since that was my last day off. Um, but Evo was fucking great, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, there were some issues some people had with it. I didn't. Um, Melee ran fantastically. Uh, the first day was kind of was kind of lame because there was only like oops fuck that up there was only um like six or seven setups for friendlies ah I can do this I know I can do this this is how I used to always do this as a kid there we go um so yeah there were not a lot of setups for friendlies um. I managed to get in on a really good, um, like a really good setup for friendlies. Like I could get a lot of games in, and then my pool wasn't until like 6 p.m. Uh, I ended up like going to my pool and then just like, oops, nice, like straight up like not even playing uh, because I just wanted to get back to friendlies really quick because I, I was gonna lose anyway. I'm not. I like this is my second tournament in like three years. The last one I went to was Paragon, and the last one before that was like Kings of Cali one. I'm not like I was back in the days when I played a lot. Um, so, like, the f the entire first game of my first, uh, pools match, I literally didn't even, like, actively attempt to fight my opponent. I just, like, um, I was just, like, was trying to get, trying to get back used to, like, controlling my character, essentially. Uh, the entire first day was like that, is what I should say. But, um, uh, um... The second day was fantastic, though. Um, oh my god, I could turn this up. I could just go the easy way, I guess, but... Oh my god, Mario, just work with me. Don't kill the piranha plant. Piranha plant didn't do anything to you. Yeah, I can't make that. Okay. I'm gonna give it one more try, and then I'm gonna go, like, the normal way. And I fell off anyway. Good job, me. Um... But yeah, the second day was fantastic, um, because the tournament actually had a ton of setups, like, um, there was, uh, I want to say, oh, God, I don't even, I can't even, why did I go this way? Oh, right, because it's technically faster than taking the owl that I fucked up. Um, no, the tournament had a ton of setups. I want to say there was, like, 12... Something like 12 or 16 um, TVs with setups. And... Or, not 12 to 16 TVs. 12 to 16 tables with setups. What star am I even doing? Um, and... Come back, Owl. Owl, come back. I thought I didn't grab you, but I did. I'm sorry. There we go. Um, yeah, there was a there was like 16 tables all with setups, and the tables had four TVs each on them. No, I'm not gonna make it. Oh, I did make it. Okay. So there was like you know there was a ton of TVs. There was almost f just like 40. There was like 40 TVs just for the tournament, um, and then there was still all the friendly setups, and there was even more friendly setups the, se the second day, but um. Uh, the, the important thing was that on day two, it was all, it was just top 32 for Melee. So, almost all of those games happened on stream, like on the main stage. And because of that, all of the tournament setups were now, were now open for friendlies. Um, so it was super, and not only that, please talk to me. Uh, not only that. A ton of people just really wanted to watch the tournament matches happening. So there was not a, like, easily half the people who would have been playing friendlies just weren't playing friendlies. Uh, and because of that, it made it really easy to get on friendly setups. Um, and I got to play friendlies basically all of, um, all of day two, which was great. Uh, do I risk it? I risked it, and it worked. Um, I ended up actually playing like solo Pikachu the entire day, the entire day too, because uh, 
I'm a madman? I don't know. I just decided, like, Pikachu was who I was gonna play. Um... And I did really well. Uh, I played a lot of, like, really young new players, which is really what helped me. Players who should have easily been able to beat me because they were definitely better than me. Um, but who didn't because I had way more experience than them. Uh, it's sort of a weird thing. It's sort of a weird thing for me playing, like, new players. Um, because nowadays... New players in Smash, they're like, they're like all super technical. Like every sing, every person who plays Smash, like everyone who gets into Smash now, is all about like grinding the shit out of tech skill. Um, and that's not me. I'm not a technical player. Like I have basic tech skill down, but the technical stuff I do not. Um. But because they're all about grinding the tech skill, they're not really about, like, the mental game. Um, it was really easy to condition new... It's really easy to condition new players to be, like, afraid of options. Um, so that's all I really had to do. I had to go for, like, easy gimps. Um, and just make them tear... Oh, shit. Uh, am I dead? I'm dead, aren't I? I'm dead. What a good waste of my time. Uh, but yeah, it was really easy to, like, condition newer players to be, like, afraid of those kind of things. Um, because I was playing Pikachu and there's a lot, you know, everyone wants to play Spacey's and stuff like that, because, you know, mm, technical. Um, but yeah, uh, all I really had to do was get, like, some strong edge guards, because Pikachu has some really good gimps on Spacey's. Um, and just sort of force that, and they'd just be afraid to go to the ledge, because, you know... Pikachu's ledge game is too strong, right? Um, and from there, it was always really easy to f basically make them afraid to try and recover in that direction and just get the easy kills. Uh, you know what? Since I'm here and I did it on accident, let's just... I wasn't going to go for this star, but I fell into the cannon anyway, so screw it. Um... Now, the real question is, am I going to hit the star or am I going to die? Got it. Um, yeah. But anyway, that was cool. Um, actually, being at the tournament was really fun, too. I got to meet a lot of random, really, like, famous people um, that I wouldn't normally, you know, run into. I ran into Trihex. Uh, he just kind of randomly one day when I, after I came to get food. Um, he was wearing a Kirby shirt that I wanted, so I offered to buy it off of him. Like, literally off of him. I was like, can I just buy the shirt you're wearing? Um, but he said no, because Trihex is in fact not a homie. <laughs> um, but, you know, I just said hi to him real quick. I asked him why he wasn't at uh, the GDQ, uh, which was unfortunate, because I was looking forward to seeing, you know, him do Mario Maker stuff. Um, along with the other Mario Maker people. Uh... Apparently, that you know, they announced the dates really late, and he didn't have time to get there, unfortunately. Uh, so that kind of sucked. I also asked him about um, what happened with uh, Yoshi's Woolly World 2 player, and that is confirmed dead, unfortunate. Because what he did actually have of that looked really cool, but he said, uh, oh, god damn it. You know what? I'm just gonna go for the, I'm just gonna go for the 8-year-old coin star. I don't even care. I'm not gonna go for the 100 coin star. Um... But yeah, he said, uh, you know, he just hates playing that game. Um, and while the two, the, the two player stuff does, you know, is interesting, it is cool looking and all that stuff. Um, it would require him to basically route out the entire game single player so that he can understand how the routes work. Um, and then it would require him to play through it, you know, even more so he could route out two, two player and he just like didn't want to. So that's confirmed for dead, which is unfortunate. Um... I, uh, I got to meet Flo, Marn, PR Balrog, and Justin Wong, because they just happened to be sitting at a table in front of me while I was eating. Um, I just, you know, I said hi. I Mostly, okay, I said hi because um, mostly I just wanted to tell Flo how much I loved his, I love his videos of him playing through ridiculous games, like I want to be the guy, and stuff like that, um, because those videos are amazing if you've never seen him. Um, you should look him up. But, uh, 
I, you know, I just said hi to everyone, everyone who was there, because, you know, they're all cool people. Um, and then, right after that, you know, I just, again, I didn't stop and chat or anything like that, because I don't know these people on a personal level, I just wanted to stop and say hi real quick, and tell Flo how much I love this stuff. Um, right after that, I sat down to eat, and right in front of me was this pair of just random FGC people who saw that table and were like, OMG, like, this is the most amazing table of players ever. Uh, and one guy's like, dude, go up and say hi to them. And the other guy's like, no, like, are you joking? What if they get angry? Or what if, like, I embarrass myself or something like that? And it, that was a really weird moment for me. <sighs> really? Again? I'm having some difficulties here, aren't I? Uh, but yeah, that was a really weird moment for me. I'm gonna get crushed on that. Uh, because it's like, why would you not just, like, walk up and say hi? Like, what's so wrong? What's so weird about that? Like, you're just all people at a tournament. Um, they're normal people. It's not like they were having matches or anything like that. They were just kind of chilling. Um, but yeah, I got to meet them. I got to meet Jay Wits. That was even weirder. That was even more random. I was just standing at a random pool... Um, watching two random people play, like, not even anyone famous, not even, like, Armada or Mewtwo King or anything like that, just random people. Um, and sitting right, standing right next to me, literally just right to my, my right side, is a guy who looks suspiciously like Jay Wits. And I was like, nah, that can't be Jay Wits. Why would Jay Wits even be here? Like, what does Jay Wits, like, nothing about Jay Wits content has anything to do with, like, FGC or anything like that. So it's like, there's no reason for Jay Wits to be here. Jay Wits isn't here. Um, so I just asked him, like, are you Jay Wits? Because you look like Jay Wits. <laughs> He's like, yeah, that's me. Um, so that was cool. I mostly just told him how great his verse at the uh, during the Pokemon Cypher was, because it was, in fact, the best. Um, and if you haven't heard the Pokemon Cypher, go look it up. Um, Pokemon Cypher 2013, I think it was, that had all of the people on it. It's, like, a ton of PokeTubers. Um, and Jay Wits has best verse, um, because he ends it on, um, held item knocked off, mic dropped, and that line is just flames. I wonder if I can still make this jump. I don't even know where I'm going. No, I just, I'm not gonna be able to make the time, um, that I need for, uh, the next star. Okay, I'm really bad at this. Forgive me if I fail this, guys, but I'm really bad at uh, wing cap flight. Um, but yeah, I got to, so that was cool. Um, I was sad Kevin wasn't there. Kevin PPMD, um, because you know I love hanging out with Kevin. He's cool as shit. Let's see if I can do this. Oh, I missed. And when the camera calls me to have some really weird momentum. Um, but yeah, I really like having it, hanging out with Kevin, so that, that would have been cool. I'm sad he's, he wasn't there. Um, I got to... On day two, I also got to hang out with Fly quite a bit. Fly Manita. Um, that's just something I kind of try and make... Like, do when I'm at tournaments, because hanging out and talking to Fly is cool as shit. Fly's a cool guy. Um, mostly we just talked about... Um, there we go. Uh, oh, I fucked it up again. Well, this is a lost cause. I should just follow my death again. Um, I cannot do that trick. Uh, we talked about random things. Uh, Mario Maker for a bit, because he's, uh, he's actually a big fan of Mario Maker. I didn't even know he had a Wii U, to be completely honest. Um, he's on Carl Sagan's streams a lot, I guess. Like, not on him, but he's like... He's he's always there for Carl's streams. Fun fact, this doesn't work. See, I... Oh, that actually works, though. I was gonna say, I carry too much momentum to make that jump, but that works, I guess. Um... So yeah, we talked about that. Um, and going back to those two guys who were, who were like, OMG, you know, fighting game gods. Um, it was really weird for me, like, 
being at this tournament and having everyone act like talk about like big name smashers like they're super important people and i was telling this to um fly because both me and fly have been part of the smash community for a really long time fly even longer than me um i started playing in like 2007 fly was even like before that um but uh i i remember i remember s um i was playing friendlies um i don't remember where to go with this guy <laughs> Oh yeah, just right down here. Um, but yeah, I, I remember sitting down playing Friendlies Day 1, and someone re realized that they had two controllers, and they were like, yes! So now, like, if... Um, penguin! Penguin! Penguin. Okay, that's a lost cause. I didn't make that jump. <laughs> Um, but yeah, um, he's like, cool, now someone who walks by that I want to get a, uh, a signature from, I can, I can just pull out my other controller and keep, and keep this one plugged in, and I was like, who do you even want to get your controller signed by, like, why do you even want to get your controller signed by anyone, like, is there really anyone worth having your controller signed by, honestly, like, um, Oh, well, I dropped that penguin again. Ah! That's a hard jump to make. Um... I'm not act I don't- it's been so long to, I, since I've played him, and I'm not actually sh sure where I'm supposed to take the penguin, I can't remember. Um... Isn't it, like, actually down over there somewhere? Um... I should go look up a speed run. <laughs> and then not be able to do whatever it is they're doing. Um, but yeah, like, I thought that was really weird. And I was talking to Fly about that, how, like, how weird it felt to me that people were, like, um, super hyped to get, like, signatures and photos taken with people. And while we were talking about that, so, right, no, no, not while we're talking about that, right after we, uh, we had that conversation, Someone walks up and asks if they can take a picture with Fly. <laughs> and I was like, this is so weird. Um, because for people who haven't, like, who, for people who haven't been part of the Smash community for a really long time, they don't understand how weird this is because tournaments never used to be like this. Like, there was no eSports, there was no 2,000 entrants, there was no, like, huge money behind tournaments. Tournaments just kind of happened, and if you happened to go, you got you got to go, and it just, like, people were there. Um. I don't even know what... I actually don't even know what Star Slip Slide in a way is. Um. Oh, shoot. God dang it. If I hadn't bonked right there, that would have been perfect. I would have just been where I needed. I'm almost out of lives. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna get the star and not die now. Okay. Okay. Um, but yeah, like I was telling someone because I don't remember who I was talking to, but I randomly mentioned like someone I guess they thought was super famous. Um, and they're they're like. How have you gotten to play with these people? I'm like, I don't know, I just used to go to tournaments and they were there. Like, that's that's what happens. Um, but I mentioned, like, this is, this is not how it used to be. It used to be that, you know, you go to a tournament, you know, random people are there. It's probably not even in a big venue. Um, a bunch of people housed together, stuff like that. I told him one of my first tournaments I ever went to was called Zoo's House. And it was called Zoo's House because it happened in Zoo's House. There was like 40 people there. Almost none of them were like big name ex names, except for Zoo and Lucky were there, and Isaiah randomly showed up um, to play Smash 64. Um, so, like, that was it. That was the tournament. Uh, and that was just a thing that used to happen. Like, uh, I went to... Which tournament was it? Mango Juice? Yeah, I think it was Mango Juice. Um... I did that wrong. 
Oh, I missed. Okay, oh, I'm dead. Um, yeah, I went to Mango Juice and I housed with um, Larry, Lur, Lovage, Replicate, and uh, Hugo. <laughs> Hugs. Because the house I happened to be staying at was Replicate's house, and that's just where everyone was staying. Um, I went to Pat's house, which was a tournament, but I also after went after that went to Pat's house. Um, and um, I not only did I room with like uh, uh, like aftermath eggs and a bunch of other like really well known smashers from Oregon, not Oregon. Um, um, where do they all live? Washington. But, uh, like, we drove together, like, we went to the tournament together, because we were their ride. Um, my, I went with my friend Brian, he, he, he was the one who actually drove, and he picked them up, and now I have one of Eggs' controllers, because he left it in the car. Um, there was another tournament where me and Brian all- Brian Brian- my friend Brian liked to go to the tournaments just because he liked to really hang out and watch Smash. Um, and meet new people and stuff like that. Um, there was another tournament where we picked up, uh, who was it? Um, Vector Man, Axe, and someone else from Arizona. Um, from the airport. We housed with them along with a bunch of other people. Um, like, DJ Nintendo, Zoo... I don't remember what tournament this was. <laughs> God, what tournament was that? Um, I went to Genesis. Genesis 1, and... The hotel that it was at, my room was literally right next... Like, right next to the, um, the entrance. So my door was just open, I was playing Smash, and... 400 Smashers walked by... Um, and saw my room there, so they knew it was there, um, and just random people just started entering the house, or entering the room, and playing me at Smash, um, and that's in fact how I ended up meeting Fly Amanita, he just randomly walked into my room and we just started playing Smash, and he whooped my ass, because he is significantly better than me, um, but yeah, uh, that is, that is what old Smash was, you just sort of met Smashers, you hung out with Smashers, you did whoever, you know, you played against whoever you wanted. wanted. I don't know how to make this eel leave. I'd rather not die. Delicious. Isn't there like an angle you can just like... Well, there is. I wasn't wrong. Okay. Let's go over here and get this star, because... Somewhere in between this part and the next part, I'm going to figure out how to just swim through that that wall, because it's easier than me trying to figure out... Um... Oh, I'm just going to try and make them all fall without getting hit. Um, it's easier than me trying to remember which one is the... Oh god, I don't remember what this one is either. Is it this? 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 Um... Yeah, somewhere in between these parts I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna figure out how to get in there, one way or another. But anyway, that's gonna be the end of this part, guys. Um... You'll note I spent basically no time talking about the game. Again, this is just kind of what shotgun let's plays are going to be. It's going to be me just kind of randomly playing and randomly talking. Uh, with no context whatsoever. But anyways, thanks for watching, guys. This has been Pink Reaper, signing out.